words for us, this time uh, coming from the Gospel of Mark. Uh, God is in your boat. And here are the words. Then he asked them, this is Jesus talking, by the way. So think, just picture Jesus in your mind. Then he asked them, why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? Oh, what, wrong way. There we go. All right, so here's what's going on. This is a story where Jesus and his friends, the disciples, uh, they've been out and about. They've been doing some, some pretty miraculous things. Uh, and people are kind of catching on to the fact that uh, Jesus is kind of a big deal. And so uh, his close group of friends, the disciples, are feeling really good about this, right? Everyone's feeling really, really good about what they're doing. Uh, and they're feeling really good about being with Jesus. And so uh, he says, let's get in this boat and go across the lake. So that's what they do. They all get in the boat. Uh, only uh, what happens is they get into their trip. Uh, Jesus takes a nap because he's tired, like you do when you've been working all day. Uh, and then this big storm rolls up. So this is what's going on in this verse, right? So this big storm rolls up, and they're freaking out. Because imagine this is Hurricane Ike. Does anyone remember Ike? This was years ago now, right? Remember Ike? Remember the, the ferocity of that storm? Galveston was completely underwater, right? So there's this major storm happening. Uh, and here's the guy that they have come to trust and, and love and admire. Uh, and to really sort of look to him for safety, right? To look after them. Uh, and he is freaking sound asleep. And they're freaking out. Uh, and he just, you know, is kind of like not really too concerned about it. Because why? Well, he's asleep. So imagine yourself. Imagine yourself in that situation. Uh, so you're hanging out with this most remarkable person you've ever met. Uh, you jump in the boat and you go. And then all of a sudden, here's this big storm. Uh, and he's completely and totally oblivious to what's going on, right? So what is that like for you? Your Superman is sound asleep, and because he's asleep, and you're freaking out, scared to death, uh, well, if it was me, it would frustrate the crap out of me, right? So what does he say? They wake him up, and Jesus instantly calms the waters, makes everything okay. And he says... Why are you afraid? Right? Our work here is faith. Our work here is belief. And that happens in my life pretty regularly. Things get crappy. Things get rough. Things don't go the way I want them to go. And that's what we call, sort of call the storms of life, right? And it's real easy to feel like God's asleep. God, why is this happening? Wake up. It can feel like God is totally asleep in these terrible times. Um, and I totally get it. I understand why people get mad at God. I get mad at God. I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. Everybody look up. It's okay to be mad at God. God can take it. Get mad. That's fine. But remember that we are called to have faith in those moments. We are called to remember to look for the little miracles that are going on all around us all the time. On the days when I maybe need a little miracle in my life and it's not happening, if I stop and look around at the people around me and I can acknowledge and see the little miracles that's going on in their lives, ah, maybe God's not really asleep. God is always in the boat with us. God is always the one that calms the wind and the sea. And God is always with us. So here are my last words right here. God is in your boat. God is in your boat when the storms hit. Let us all rest in God's sense of peace. Let us all have faith. And let God's peace be with each one of us. Amen, amen.